The announcement of the start of sugar harvest signals what is expected to be a greater yield than that of last year. We've estimated that we will harvest 107,000 tons of cane this year, which is an increase of 12,558 tons, or 13% increase year on year. The increase in volume is attributed to increased acres planted and increased yield because we have now invested in the hot water treatment to get rid of the raton stunting disease and therefore our yields now are increasing. The lone operating sugar factory, Portville, is ready. We completed a major boiler retubing exercise. Uh, the systems within the factory have been tested successfully. The factory will conduct a steam trial today. Normally we conduct steam trials to make sure that all the pressure on the tubes and the boiler, etc., can withstand um, the consistency that is required. The factory is projected to produce 5,229 tons of sugar and 7,100 tons of molasses in 2023. He says the Barbados Agricultural Management Company is exporting sugar to regional and international markets. We've done exports to Trinidad and to St. Lucia, and now we are getting into the U.S. market. 22 tons of packaged sugar has been exported to the USA. That shipment left on February 10th, and we will do another shipment in March. Barbados is no longer exporting sugar in bulk, but rather packaging and branding its product. Crystal Hoyt, CBC News.